viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune. You are watching Superfast 10. I'm Monisha, and here are the top 10 stories of the day. Elephant Safari at the Kaziranga National Park has been closed indefinitely from today until further orders. The decision was taken as a mark of protest against reserving one seat each on an elephant back for the Forest Department officials. Three youths sustained grievous bullet injuries after the police allegedly opened fire on them in Assam's Tinsukia district. As per initial reports, the police allegedly fired upon the youths on suspicion of attempting to join the proscribed militant outfit United Liberation Front of Account. In a shocking and heinous incident, Guwahati police arrested one 21-year-old youth on Saturday for allegedly raping a minor girl in the city's Persista area. According to initial information, the accused Youth who was arrested based on an FIR lodged at Pashishta police station on Friday, alleging he raped a 16 year old girl. The accused has been identified as Munudas. In a tragic incident, a youth allegedly died after a wall of a building collapsed on him in Guwahati's Maligao on Sunday. According to reports, the incident occurred when the youth was engaged in carrying out arrangements for the upcoming festival of Christmas. Lala police of Halakande district on Saturday evening recovered 1.54 grams of heroin and arrested two persons. Based on specific information, a police team raided a residence at Lala town where they seized 1.54 grams of heroin containing seven small containers along with innumerable syringes and a cache of rupees 9,100 for the investigation is underway. In a successful joint operation, the Assam Rifles and the Manipur Police recovered a huge cache of arms and ammunition in Noni district's Purubur region area on Saturday. Based on specific inputs, the troops of Assam Rifles and the Manipur carried out an operation on Saturday following which it led to the recovery of one AK-56 rifle, one single barrel gun, ammunition, six grenades and warlike stores. Meanwhile, in another joint operation, the troops of Assam Rifles along with the Border Security Force recovered one 9mm pistol, one PT-22 rifle, two 12 bore guns, one country-made mortar ammunition and warlike stores at the outskirts of P. Geljang, Churchanpur district in Manipur. In a major move, the sports ministry suspended the newly elected President Sanjay Singh from the Wrestling Federation of India on Sunday. The announcement comes after significant controversy regarding the selection of Sanjay Singh, who is a close aide to Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh. It may be mentioned that in the wake of the election of Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh's loyalist, Olympic medal winner Sakshi Malik announced her retirement from wrestling. India saw a single day rise of 666 COVID infections. While the active cases have increased to 3,742, according to Union Health Ministry data updated on Sunday, the death toll was recorded at 5,33,333, with one new death reported from Kerala in a span of 24 hours. The Israel Defense Forces on Sunday alleged that it has recovered arms, including sophisticated weapons, from a civilian residential area in Gaza. The IDF, in a statement, said that soldiers of the 261 Brigade recovered weapons in a building where civilians were taking shelter in northern Gaza. At least 12 people were killed while 39 others suffered injuries on Sunday in Indonesia after an explosion at a nickel processing plant. Initial investigation showed the explosion happened during repair work on a, on a furnace when a flammable liquid ignited and a subsequent blast caused nearby oxygen tanks to explode as well. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube and Telegram. Tune in tomorrow at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.